beat the visiting team. And what a matchup we have here in the front court ring. Yeah, each of these teams are anchored by their big team. I think it's got to be physical and highly intensified. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. We've got Devin Vassell, Nicholas Claxton out there at Durant, and then there's Jason Tatum. It's Fox in at the point guard position. Here's Tatum out. And got a foul shot, so he'll be shooting the foul shot. And as he enters his foul, Jason Tatum is shooting to become the face of the NBA. Yeah, and Kevin, he knows winning is the key. For a star player on a great team, learning that balance, when to take over, and when to set up your teammates, is a big part of it. And that was good, Maxie. Take your focus off Maxie for one second, and he will let it fly from out there. Outside, Katie. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Claxton. Here's New Orleans. KD passes to Fox. Back to KD. Over Porzingis. Shots good by Durant. And the defense has to be aware of KD at all times, especially when he's hovering around that mid range. Gilgis Alexander passes to George. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Pass to Tatum. And straight up Tatum. Tatum. Six is six exploding off the Kevin court. Durant. Give Tatum room and he will show off his athleticism at your expense. Now, here is George. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Just four to shoot. Over Fox. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. And the move in the basket. SGA has the defense. Shook. To the paint. It's deflected. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. And it's Allen slamming down. He takes advantage of him in every way possible. The great lures them into a trap on the steal. And then bang. Great to the button. Turning great defense into great offense. That's the kind of stop you're looking for. Here's Durant. Nice key from Porzingis. Thunder have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And George gets it to go. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Three-pointer, Fox. New Orleans with a fresh shot clock. Two points. That one goes. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. And I can tell you from experience, these are the types of things that drive coaches crazy. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Nice game out. He had 14. Shoots over Fox. Again, the Thunder score. Good work inside. This game will make more room for himself on the can be effective. He wants to talk to his guy. Coming off that way against the Nets. They go to perfect defensively. The cracks they show, guys were quick to rotate and help each other out. And nothing feels better than a win where team defense is the main factor. Fox finds Claxton. Now Kevin Durant. It is good. We'll get a chance for one more time. Yeah, this, this is a testament to how competitive the is. Able to score second team for the defender. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And always hovering around the 50, 40, 90 mark. Kevin Durant is both prolific and great efficient. And Kevin, you want to talk about guys in this league who make great plays time and time again. Katie is right at the top of that list. Now, Tato, Paul George missing from long range. Screen by Durant. Takes the three. Tato, no good. 
And it's Maxey with the ball for the Thunder. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Yeah, they got into a terrific blow offensively. But a lot of that was because the defense they were facing was mediocre. Yeah, but even against weak defense, your execution still matters. Luckily, they were able to take advantage. Norland's making a switch here. Hunter's checked in. And through this early portion break of the season, we've had our fair share of surprises. Yeah, it's fun to see the preseason predictions go up in flames. Right? Every year it feels like we had at least one team that overachieves and shocks us all. Now, Fox. Paul George missing from long range. Outside, Katie. Under on the wing. Pocket six. Paxton sets the screen for Wagner. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call. Oh, it's not clear. That one to Alexi. I really appreciate how Franz Wagner does a little of everything. Along with plenty of scoring, he's a multi-dimensional player. And Wagner, as we know, Stan, came into the league with a splash and hasn't really slowed up since. Now, Kevin, I think he's surprised a lot of people. He has never played like a young guy. He's always played with the maturity of a veteran guy. And he just keeps getting more and more responsibility. He's handled it well. And then he could become a perennial motion. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, this is why the fans are here. Each team trading blows. Here now the league's highest scoring teams the past 10 games. What a stretch it has been for these guys. Number one, the Thunder. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring, and they are putting up some big numbers. And he'll go to the line for two. He goes on Jason Tatum. Second team and you watch Miller. He, he keeps the defense on its heels. They don't know what he's going to do. Last season, the Thunder finishes the one seed for the first time since 2013. Yeah, and that was when they were led by the young duo of Durant and Westbrook. But they've got a new group of young stars now who are looking to bring that first championship to OKC. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the pay. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Porzingis. Wagner against Gilgis Alexander. Porzingis with a screen on Wagner. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. And seven times the lead has changed hands here. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before it's over. Now here's Durant. He has five. Lock up two there. KD's got seven points. They're getting on a roll inside. And their last three field goals have come from the paint. Miller's remaining the floor. Allen finds Gilgis Alexander. And the rejection by Claxton. Here's Fox. The layup off target. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Miller, no luck. The Pelicans have gone 7-12 from the field here in the first quarter. Fox with it. He had 22 points in the win against Brooklyn. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. Uh, his assist to show you what a he fantastic all-around effort it was. And they're trailing by three. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thanks very much. I was able to talk with Mark Dagley for a minute. Now, of course, I asked Coach what his plan was about defending Jason Tatum. And he said... I told our guys just to play smart, to play up on him, but not get dated into fouls. And try to get a hand in his face. So 
that's a difficult challenge for any defense, so we'll see what happens tonight. Guys? Okay, David, much appreciated. Now, here's Maxie. Following the best shot by De'Aaron Fox. Mr. Persingas. Hill Giselle, Alexander against Wagner. New Orleans leading by three. Here's Fox. He trains the quick shot. Fox. And how about the mid-range shooting of Fox? Definitely capable of sinking those shots with consistency. Daniel calls timeout here. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential ideas. Oklahoma City. And New Orleans also making a change. Jeremy Sohan's checked in for Fox. Here's Maxi. 20 points for him last game against the Clippers. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist by Maxi. Gilgis Alexander's got eight. Yeah, he's been very efficient in this quarter. Keep getting him the ball. And you're on the wing. He's covered by Maxi. Here's Sohan. Off target from three-point range. That is his first foul of the year. A different look for Oklahoma City. Porzingis is coming in for help. And it's Brandon Pajemski in for Gilgis Alexander. De'Aaron Fox is checked in for New Orleans. Now, here's Fox. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. Over Maxi. Fox, no good. Another miss. He is struggling for the court. Mr. Persingas. Miller outside. Persingas sets the pick for Miller. Shot clock at six. Fires from 18. And it's in the end for his pass on the right side. And it's now only a one-point Pelican lead. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Maxi against Fox. Three-pointer. Rebound by Murray. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Murray is three on Fox. Here's Maxi. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Now for New Orleans, shooting well right out of the gates. Around 50%. Down low, here's Claxton. It's three by the ball. of one quarter of play. Still a close game. Pelicans lead by two. And we've got more action coming your way after this break. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Pelicans? Well, yeah, early on, the mid-range G 
jumpers have been an important part of their attack. They're going on school. And another thing, Coach will be thrilled with oh, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. Evan Bissell out there with Franz Wagner. Then it's Jeremy Sohan. Then there's Obi Toppin. And it's Nance in at the center, filling out the middle. Pass to Pajemski. Shoots over Wagner. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. And the lead giving a bit more leeway, GA, to defenders. As a hard-nosed defender yourself, uh, I'm sure you like that change. Oh, I do. I mean, we all love the intensity of playoff basketball. So why not bring a certain level of physicality to the regular season? Vassell outside. Hagner outside. Thank you. Off the glass. Hagner's got the lead up to five Kevin now for New Orleans. Yeah, Wagner doesn't fear contact. He'll take it right into the defense down there. Here's Persingas. And soft on the front end. Yeah, so skilled offensively. Getting the ball in his hands is generally a good idea. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting for him. He's been a chance here. He's been a shooting for him. And with his skill set on the offensive end, he is such a threat on the floor. Yeah, he's the kind of guy that makes life easier for his teammates. He demands so much defensive attention. George has checked in for the Thunder. Stan, you know this. Every team wants those 3 and D wing types. This Pelicans team is loaded with them. Yeah, Kevin, they love those type of guys. Long, athletic guys who can defend. And they either come in being able to shoot the three, or they so develop them into three-point shooters. And it shows in the numbers. Last year, they were fourth in three-point percentage, seventh in defensive rating. Those are key metrics. Mr. Persingas. Over the And the shot is good. Oh, 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 oh. Persingas has got four points now in the quarter. Well, for Porzingis, that's just easy money. I keep going to that until they stop. Back to Wagner. And there it is for Franz Wagner. Wagner's got the lead back up to seven now for the Pelicans. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint there. Murray outside. It's Miller on the way. And here's George for three. Toppin pulls it in. And so it's Vassell who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to couple digits. George looking around. Pajemski finds George. Murray outside. There's Persingas. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Persingas has got six. Superb concentration by Porzingis. Good at staying under control and pushing through the contest. Back to Wagner. And a foul call by Porzingis. This is going to be a foul of the game. Now, he's going to have to watch himself now. Second to move. Early for that second foul. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Max has checked in. Tyrese Maxey. Maxey against Wagner. The Thunder poured in, getting their first of the season at this Pelicans team. Yeah, some history here, though, of course. They won that first round series in last year's playoffs and ended up sending them back in that game. Maxi against Vassell. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Devin Vassell. It's going to be Second on Devin Vassell. Second three. 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 Second three.
at the strike. New Orleans making some changes here. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Nance. Jason Tatum comes in for Toppin. And it's Fox in for Franz Wagner. Maxi hits them both. This team has handed a lot of responsibility to Tyrese Maxi, but Craig, he's lived up to it. And has grown very well into his role with the team. Showing that he can be a scorer all over the floor. It's amazing to think how far he's gone in such a short amount of time. But the Bruins have gone five and seven from free throw out of the game. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got his sixth rebound on the night. Claxton is screen on George. And Claxton follows it down. Well, this offense is much more effective with Tatum is making the extra pass and setting up his timeout for Oklahoma City. And Mark Dagnall calls timeout here. He wants to make some adjustments. It's such a great distributor and decision maker among the top ten in assists per game. And as you said, number one in steals this season. He's the sneakiest ball hawk in the league right now. By everything you've got, because <laughs> he's coming after you. Well, you can't question his confidence from out there, but it's not ball. Maybe time for a different approach. He's trailing by eight. Miller with the ball. Now guarded by Fox. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Stan, we have so, so many great ball. players in this NBA. I mean, every night, from top to bottom, each roster gets so great players. But in your opinion, who is the toughest to game plan against? Wow, that is a tough question because there's so many of them where there's no good answers. You know, let's take Jokic, for example. If you play one-on-one, -on -one, He's going to score virtually every time. If you come in, double team him, send the second defender, he's going to make the right pass all the time. There's no way to absolutely stop him. Just do the best you can to limit their team. And the great ones always have answers, don't they, Stan? If they didn't, Kevin, they wouldn't be the great ones. Outside Tatum. And sets the screen for Tatum. That one falls. Jason Tatum. Tatum's got 10 points in the game. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Miller outside. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's rebounded by De'Aaron Fox. Pelicans leading by seven. And now the latest from our reporter, Jason Kevin, thanks. At this point in his career, Paul George says he's in bully mode. He said, every night I'm on the floor, I'm there to dominate. Whether it's being more physical or more oh, right at oh, oh, I got to go at, we're going to feel good. I'm having a coach every time. I'm there to destroy you. Kevin? <laughs> I love it, though, D.A., got to admit it. Awful powerful. Thank you. To the middle. Here's Claxton. And Claxton throws it down. There's no argument that Tatum's at his best when he's distributed. Outside, Maxi. Tatum against one. On team, George. Good. And Miller gets the assist. George has got five points now in the court. Well, it's a three point shooting lead. Guys like him are so important for space. Tatum, that's for two. And it's New Orleans Jason scoring Tatum. again. Allowing the play to develop naturally. Terrific patience by Tatum in the screen and roll. Pershing is sets the pick for Gilgis Alexander. It's George on the wing. Screen by Porzingis. George with the bounce pass. Left side, Tatum. For three. They get it back. Sohan. And foul on the shot. They shoot two extra. That's the Taking care The Pelicans have shot 75% of the strike. Six of eight. 
Now the Pelicans have lost in the first round GA of the playoffs in two of the last three years. And with how good the West is right now, they knew they couldn't stand pat. They felt the urgency to make some changes this offseason in order to take the next step. Here's Maxi. How good with the triple. And so it's Durant with it. They bring it up for the Pelicans. They lead by seven. Close the Denver Nuggets after this one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Aguirre kicks to Tatum. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Tatum's got 14 points. Well, we've come to expect this from Tatum. Just so good at taking over games all by himself. Thanks to Gilgis Alexander. He sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. So he's got the and one chance here. They repeatedly pushed him inside in the first half, guys. And it's a foul. Running from the for Oklahoma City. Jerry Evans checked in for Curry. And it's Brazingas in for Murray. But now he's also changing it up. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Jeremy Sohi. And Aaron Fox up in for Franz Wagner. And they're trailing by six. Shot by George, wide open. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. And so, for the three, he will call in timeout. He wants to know here to get things straightened out with his team. Game here on the 2K leaderboard of the teams with the quickest hands in the league. Pelicans, number one. And it's no accident to see them at that top spot, guys. I mean, great awareness and anticipation. They apply a ton of pressure defensively. And here's KD for three. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. But so far, he hasn't had the same luck from deep in this quarter. It's stolen by Allen. Two minutes for three. 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 The shortest three in the game. Maxi, solid from that corner. Fox passes to Bissell. Tatum with the screen on Maxi. Sell against Maxi. Shot clock at five. Puts it up. KD's shot is off. But that wasn't a bad shot. Defense playing a little loose there. Sometimes it just doesn't go in. Passed it good. And now just a one point Pelican lead. And that's tough to guard against. Maxi is just so quick off the ground with that ball. Looking around. And finished by KD. And at nearly seven feet tall, Durant is a problem inside. Got to push him out a little further. Durant. Porzingis finds Maxi. Outside, George. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Pelicans leading by three. Five seconds left to play in the first half. Pass to Tatum. Here's Fox. Durant, wide open, and fires. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Persingas has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And it's George missing. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. Yeah, quality offense will serve you well in the long run. You can't settle for bad shots. That's good. Yeah, that was the first to go. Yeah. 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 Send it over to David Aldridge. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The Western Conference winner, Nikola Jokic. The talent of the Jokers being recognized. Big achievements for the big man. Now looking at this Oklahoma City game, the Thunder 
dealing with a thin margin. Their focus on defense has been inconsistent. And that is... Got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Yeah, and in terms of slowing him down, I think they're going to have to change things up. Give him some different looks. second half. And the conversation for Przingis coach tends to always come back to help. And what a challenge that has been for him. Kevin yeah, Durant. Kevin, over his Three career, points. on average, he's missed about 30 games per season. But that's not an uncommon problem, as you know, for players who stand well over seven feet. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the other. Side Durant, over Allen, and then there's KD. That's good on the assist by Tatum. You know, you're not going to block KD's jumper. You just hope to throw it off target, but no, not that time. And George, that can stop it. Well, look, you need a bucket. Go to him. This is exactly what he's built to do. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Durant, no good. Green on Claxton. Here's Gorgeous Alexander. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Well, that one didn't fall, but otherwise, they've been excellent shooting the ball to start this half. Claxton the pass to Katie. Rosendis with the steal. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Here's Allen. That ball is nice shot that time from George. Allen's got his second bucket. You really got to hit Allen if you want to stop him. Just so long and strong from there. Fox dishes the Tatum. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Maxie with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. A two-point game. Fox is the three. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Side, Katie. Kicks it out to Wagner. And to Durant. Oh, Katie carries the three. Nothing to see here, folks. Just another tremendous scoring night from Durant. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Maxi trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. George against Tatum to the inside. The shot's good from Claxton. And now it's a three-point Pelican lead. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the ball. Maxi on the wing. He's defended by Wagner. Porzingis with a screen on Wagner. Here's Maxi. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, I hate to say it, but he hasn't done a lot to help their cause tonight. He's been a little erratic from the floor. Boxton against him. Now the five of the shot clock. Durant just inside the line. Can't nail the jump. They're trailing by three. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Beyond the arc. Drills the three-pointer. Fox has got ten points in the game. Yeah, the team with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Porzingis gets the draw. Shot does not the run. 
made that one. It's the seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. A good ball handler with an advanced offensive repertoire. George is more than comfortable in the pick and roll. Here's KD. Unable to get that one. Nice D from Porzingis. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. George with the screen on Fox. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. Can't get it to go. His fifth miss and ten shots from the floor. Outside, KD. Inside, follows it down. Smart play there by Durant. Uses the pick and roll to break up the defense and create one for his team. Gilgis Alexander finds out. Now, here's Fox. He's got 10. It's Fogger, it's on the key. There's Persingas. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Claxton's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Fox passes to Wagner. And finish off by Wagner. Well, once Wagner gets downhill, it's lights out. Under trailing by six. And George kicks to Perzingis. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. To the middle from six feet. And that's it at the back. Get on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got his deep assist here tonight. And timeout called by Barry Green. Wants to regroup and go over the strategy. Then you've been on the bench in the NBA for many decades. What were some of your biggest pet peeves as a coach? Oh my gosh, that would be a long list. The two biggest would be this. I think number one. Anytime there was a lack of effort, not running back on defense, things like that, that I had a hard time tolerating. And then mental breakdowns, things we had prepared for over and over and over again. And then guys just zone out and, and forget what they're supposed to do. Those were things that were hard to uh, tolerate. Especially when you would take such care in preparing them in every way. That's got to be just, oh. Frustrating is that. Pass to Persingas. And a dunk by Persingas. This is what you love to see. Persingas at the rim. Fox passes to Jumpin. Now, Wagner. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Now, Maxi. He's got 19. To the group. There's Persingas. A piece of it. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlled the inside. There's Buckner with the three. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Now, 
Here's Fox. Here Got a lot of room. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And, and Fox starting to show you his abilities inside. And has quick instincts, which I think helps him when he's down low. Screen by Porzingis. And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. That's a very good look at the bricks. And that kick takes the beat totally out of the Murray's checked in for Oklahoma City. Pajemski's coming in for Maxi. Vassell a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Vassell, no good. Yeah, there's really no excuse for missing that one. That's just a blown opportunity. Pass to Miller for the lead. That's rebounded by New Orleans. So in with the ball. And it's Miller picking him up. And it's a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Pelicans miss again. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage. That time. Foul. And it's the sell with the foul. That's his third, third foul, foul of the game. Second team foul. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Wow. And this foul. close to a four point one. Well, head to the line. Second team foul. Third team foul. Third team foul. And he's good on the second. And he makes all three. Impeccable hit from the line since halftime. Pelicans trail by three. Pass to Sohan. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two Here's the cell. He's defended by Pajemski. Dead on the bucket. Yeah, and that mid-range shot is really the cell's primary weapon. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Launches a three. That counts. He's put up 13 shots. He's had one of those go in. And it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead goes. And Stein's jumping. Lawrence moving it around. The baseline shake. That one doesn't drop. The Thunder leading by four. Pass to Pajemski. Here's Murray. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Vassell outside. Over Murray. And the basket by Vassell. Vassell's got four points now in the quarter. And that high release point really helps Vassell in that mid range area. Gilgis Alexander with it. So here on Taylor. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled with the shot. Third personal foul. For three and he knocks down the first one. Paul Troy just checked in for Brandon Pajemski. Gilgis Alexander hits him both. Yeah, love the attitude he's playing with here in the second half. Going strong to the hoop and getting to the free throw line. So in the pass to Fox. Nance sets a screen for Fox. But he also has win. He's a factor there in the paint. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 24. 12 seconds left to play here in the third. Six to shoot. And the lead falls. Gilgis Alexander's got the lead up to four now for the Thunder. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going on in the play. His ability is Gilgis Alexander guys has been on display for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He was a true standout at the offensive end, both with his scoring and his passing. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Here's Miller. Mm -hmm. On the floor, the Pelicans getting 
the fourth quarter going. I'll be topping out there with Jason Tatum. Then it's De'Aaron Fox. Then it's Jeremy Sohan. And it's Nance in at the five. Maxi from outside off the mark. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Sutherland by four. And the dunk by Sohan. Oh, flexing his muscles there. Sohan focused enough to get the initial stuff. And here's Maxi. Curran sets the screen for Maxi. Knocked away. In the corner, George with it. Over Tatum. The shot by George, no good. Well, for New Orleans, shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Uh, Sometimes they're going to be as fast as he is. Sometimes they're going to be Here, guys, the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Well, they've been absolutely on fire from deep. And until the defense offers more resistance, the coaches are going to keep encouraging them to let it fly. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the other field. And they see a chance to get in defense. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. New Orleans in the lead. Just over a minute into the final quarter of play. Now, this shot selection is big four. If I would go to this team, he'd be sitting next to me. Murray in the best dimension. Two and up time. Outside, Maxi. has got nine points here in the second half. Fox dishes to Tatum. In the corner, Sohan with it. Back to Tatum. Inside, Tatum. Tatum. Yeah, great execution in the pick and roll. Tatum being rewarded for his effort there. But Wayne Miller, guarded by Fox, takes a step back. And that one's good. George. George has got four points in the quarter. Yeah, it looks like he hit the reset button at halftime. Not sure if it was a mechanical issue, but he's looked much more confident offensively. Tatum, yep, and he goes. And that's 18 points for Jason Tatum. Yeah, the closer Tatum gets... Easier it is for him. His touch is just so good. And Mark Dagno calls timeout. And that timeout by coach was carefully measured. Wanting to make sure that everybody is on the same page here. The Pelicans making a switch here. Claxton's checked in. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. During that last break, Coach Mark Dagno talked to his team. You know, he had some pros and cons. He said, I like our play inside. Well, what's happening at the arc, fellas? we got to start making some shots. He needs more production from the outside. Nice. Thanks. Oh, all personal foul. And a moment now, we to take a look at the offensive approach for the Pelicans. Well, the mid-range has been open for them, so you've got to take what the defense gives, and that's been a great attack in this situation. And another thing, they continue to work it inside and score. It's clear their game plan is attacking the paint as much as possible. Tatum with the screen on Maxi. It's Fox with the drive. Tatum wide open, he fires one. Tatum with another miss. And even without that three ball drop before, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's George. It's rebounded by De'Aaron Fox. Fox has got his fourth rebound in this one. And a lot of good time for rebound, so he'll shoot two here. A moment to check out who the Bucks Pelicans have coming out. On Friday, they'll be matching up in Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And then on Saturday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Los Angeles Lakers. And looking at the Dallas matchup, this is what the have been wanting to see. Two of the best teams in the league duking it out, and, and you know whoever gets the win 
is going to be viewed as the team to beat. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Allen's checked in. Pass to Tatum. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming out. Well, the defense closes on Tatum. He go into them. He's happy to get sent to the line. And so Tatum nails them both. Oklahoma City trailing. Murray outside. It's Miller on the way. Allen a screen on Fox. Here's Miller. Claxton with the steal. And now the Pelicans on the break. Here's Sohan. Murray with the defensive effort. Thunder have gone two and seven from the field. And what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Stolen by Tatum. Oh, Claxton in position. It's stolen by Allen. Outside, George. Outside, Maxi. Murray sets a screen for Maxi. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to end. The three from Tatum. And again, no good by New Orleans. Here's George. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. A two-point game. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. Here's the triple. The Maxi with the basket on the assist for Miller. He's got 10 points here in the second half. And so here's New Orleans. Now, here's Fox. From the wing. And a kind roll yeah, that time off the rim as that one falls. Fox has got five points in the quarter. He passes to Murray. And here in Fox gets the whistle that time. Let's go on number two. Second. The Thunder with some changes. Rosinius comes in for Murray. And Shane Gilgis Alexander subbed in for Maxey. The Pelicans also changing it up. Durant's check in for Choppin. Vassell comes in for Sohan. And it's Farms Wagner in for De'Aaron Fox. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's a big height pass in closing. Gilgis Alexander's got 28. And this is SGA's role. He's out here to score and score often. Tatum on the way. Defended by George. Outside Tatum. Flying with this three. The Thunder ball on 4 10 here in the final period. The time to go close up. And count the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Alex. 6 6 with point guard with skills. What a nightmare matchup he is. Because he's jumped in for the Thunder. Carlos Parker. And so here's Florence. Trailing by four. 13 miles. Ten points here in the second half. They continue to battle out there so close to taking the lead. Yeah, this is definitely a close one. Let's see if they have enough in the team to take the lead here. Yeah, Gotta be careful around Durant and, and his active hands. His defensive instincts are pretty strong as well. Ask him to win. bring it over. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with a foul. It's going to be on Devin Vassell. And Gilgis Alexander understands how to draw contact, especially when he's looking to score. And the Thunder making a switch here. George is checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. We expect nothing less. He's generally been very good at the line. Oh, Claxton in position. Oh, and out of bounds is the Thunder in possession. That's a careless pass and a wasted possession. That's just unnecessary. Oklahoma City's got just one of four three corners to go down for them here in the fourth. Here 
Jones next. And that one is a little bit foul. Gets the whistle. Two shots coming up. It's going to be on Devin Purcell. And you need credit to Maxi for just being aggressive inside, earning that whistle in the process. Pelicans trail by four. Adner outside. Vassell outside. Sinks the three-pointer. So the defense has to do a better job at pushing Vassell off that spot outside. Gilgis Alexander passes to Maxi. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And he gets the ball. 35 points for Shay Gilgis Alexander. He's in a good position here, raising hard to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Here's Wagner, and it's New Orleans scoring again. Well, Wagner can be a scoring machine, especially when his team is doing a good job of getting him looks. Outside, Porzingis. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Yep, it counts. Gilgis Alexander has got 11 here in this quarter now. He put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Wagner kicks to Vassell. Outside the rim. Nice key from Porzingis. The Thunder leading by three. A three. Kevin Durant with the rebound. KD's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Wagner. Back to KD. New Orleans moving the ball around. Wagner has green on Maxi. The cell, no good. And so George will bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Wagner. And Gilgis Alexander, the bucket on the assist by George. Here's the cell. Pass to KD. Two free throws down the field. Manage Durant draws the foul, and we know what usually happens when he steps to the line. And he can't hit the center. Mm -hmm. This was a huge mm -hmm. chance to turn this into a one possession game. Mm -hmm. And hustle like that is why he leads his team in rebounds tonight. Double digits for him on the glass. He's hit this guy. That's it. The Oklahoma City leaders cut down now to just two on the basket from Tatum. Well, he's never phased by those big moments. Tatum up with a big move like this. Sometimes the action speeds up on you a little 
Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Maxi. The Thunder with another miss. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the look they want. It's tough work in the mid range. It's the miss, Rudy George. 16 feet away. Thunder with the rebound. And even though he was open, those leaners are tough to make. of the floor, Kevin. They've lost some confidence along the way. That's all intentional. That's what they have to do at this point. Yeah, he can't the ball. Just milk those last seconds. He gets the first one, and that gives him a four-point pressure. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. No doubt. That just about seals. So the wing on the left. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the three off target. So we see the Pelicans get the win here. This was a hard fought, well earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this game. With the crowd amped up, everyone in the building. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up.